Hey guys, my name is Bill and welcome to a new tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the splash screen that you see in After Effects when you reopen it up. Um, this was something I just posted at GIF of just yesterday and surprisingly a lot of people didn't know how to. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So first of all, good idea to close After Effects here if you have it open. There you go. Um, first things first. Go and um, download something called Resource Hacker. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. We're going to use this program to um, extract one of the DLL files and find the actual picture of the splash screen. So make sure to install that. And um, when you've installed that, you got this. Open it up. Um, before we can change anything, we actually need to go and find the DLL file. So if you head on over to your After Effects directory, Adobe 2017, it can work for anything. Um, I'm pretty sure it goes back to CS4 or 5. So once you're in the main folder, you're gonna look for something called After Effects lib.dll. Um, make sure to copy that somewhere. Um, let's copy it over here and do a backup a backup of it. I already have one. Um, just rename this. Give it a dot at the end and then BAK as a backup and it'll just make a backup file. You won't be able to open After Effects while this uh, file isn't in there at all. Um, so make sure to always have one. So if you just drag the DLL file into the Resource Hacker program, we'll see that we get a bunch of different folders. If you open up the one called PNG, you'll see something called AE underscore splash zero. And there you have it. This is uh, mine. If I go and let's see here, copy the original DLL file. Let's just delete this, rename this. Boom. To what it's supposed to be, there we go. Yep. Well, new blank script, pull this in. See that if I go under the PNG tab, find the splash screen. So what you can do here is save the resource uh, somewhere. Let's just call this a splash screen. And you'll have a PNG file. What you can do with this PNG file is then go and do whatever you want with it. It's basically a, just change it to whatever you want. Make sure again that there's a DLL FX lib file in here so it can actually open up After Effects. So I'm going to just quickly open it up and give you a small tour of how to chase a picture. So once After Effects open, um, let's go and import the picture. I mean you could do this in Photoshop or Paint or whatever you wanted to do. I'm just more comfortable with uh, After Effects. So here we are. Um, borders are something which the pro or not the program but the file itself has so i mean you can go beyond the border of the actual splash screen um but i just personally stick with it um so yeah it's all about playing around here so uh let's see here pull in some anime here we go um I think that's good enough. You can rotate this, give it some more space, and there we go. Um, and just for good measure, I'll pre comp this and use the original file as a um, mat to get it boxed in proportionally. So, this we can just go and save, save frame as if you didn't know. We'll save a single frame, make sure it's a PNG. Uh, with an alpha channel too and uh, let's just render this Do -do -do. save render there you go um, so now we have this if you go back into resource hacker it would be a good idea to rename the file exactly as what it's called here so if I just right click go to rename this resource copy it and paste it for this I already have one um, that's a bit of a problem it's okay there you go. Let me just go and delete the original one. It's this one, that's why. 
we'll just rename this again there we go um, then go into back into resource hack or right click and go to replace resource and just select whatever thing you made there we go and replace and that's it so if we just quit the program and remember to save the file press save and or write the lib file that we just created uh, make sure to exit after effects uh, don't think then you can go back into your uh, adobe directory after effects directory and paste it in there just there you go so if i go and press the after effects button what should be coming up is some broccoli and there you go um, of course, you'd keep some of the elements like the After Effects thing and the bottom stuff also. Um, I can see here me having replaced just a logo up here and keeping the elements here, but that's totally up to you. You can play around however you want. You saw how we actually got some broccoli. So yeah, there you go. Uh, you just wasted some minutes. Um, Going through a video which you could just have googled, but I mean, a short call. Thank you for watching though, um, and until next time, bye. <laughs>